recently discovered a new bacteria that may bug you, especially with a warm, outdoor-friendly weekend ahead. And that bacteria lives in a type of tick that calls many states, including Michigan, home. Christina Anthony joins us now with details. Christina. Andy and Kate, the black-legged tick, commonly called the deer tick, now carries a couple more symptoms in its bite. In its first stage of life, a black-legged tick is the size of a period at the end of a sentence. And it only amounts to a couple centimeters as a full-grown adult. But the tiny bug comes with big news. Scientists discovered it contains a new bacteria. And it's called uh, Borrelia myonii. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 300,000 people a year are diagnosed with Lyme disease. They typically experience fever, headache, a bullseye rash, neck pain, and arthritis weeks later. The new pathogen also causes nausea and vomiting. It even creates a different spotty rash in patients. This changed the whole paradigm of how we think of Lyme disease. Unlike its symptoms, the tick is tricky to detect. They don't fly, they don't jump, they generally drop off of low vegetation. So typically they'll attach on the lower levels of the body, on the, on the legs, and, and work their way up the body. An EPA-recommended repellent will help stop the bugs from biting. Experts also suggest wearing long sleeves and pants and checking your body after treks in the woods. But don't count on seasonal changes to prevent tick-borne illness anymore. We can't reliably say that there is no rest during the winter because uh, global warming is kind of changing the pattern of these diseases. Remember to also check your animals after checking yourself. Experts say animals spend more time outdoors in wooded areas prone to the tick population. Andy?